I'm Carolyn. Welcome back to my channel. Do you like the mix-up with the surroundings here? It's a little different. It's a little out of the box, but not only is this video about Venus and Virgo, but the sun is also in Virgo right now along with Jupiter. So there's a lot of Virgo energy and Virgo is an earth sign. And knowing Virgo very well, trust me, that's a huge part of the sign Virgo. They love nature. Virgo loves nature. Put a Virgo in nature, take a Virgo on a hike, and they'll finally stop thinking about everything. They can really connect with the nature, the world, the earth. It's no different when your Venus is in Virgo. There are a lot of descriptions about this placement, Venus in Virgo, that pretty much rely on practicality, and it's almost a boring Venus placement to have. And I will say that in traditional astrology, Venus in Virgo is in its fall. Venus in Virgo is not looked upon as a very favorable placement to have. And it's easy to see why one might come to that conclusion because Venus, as we've learned throughout this series, is Venus is about love. Venus is about our values. Venus is about what attracts us to others, what we find attractive, what other people find attractive in us, what makes us attractive. And also just, again, our values, how we like things, and even how we like things done, but especially romantically too. So in Virgo, of course, it's a Virgo season, Virgo is all about the details, Virgo is all about the little tiny things that aren't exactly right and that need to be fixed and perfected that is Virgo. So it's kind of like a little perfectionist critiques everything that might give your heart joy if you are a Venus in Virgo. Now, it's not as bad as it sounds. And I hope that the sound out here isn't horrible. But anyway, it's not as bad as it sounds because it gives the Venus in Virgo person a lot of talents that they might not otherwise have had. It's kind of like a little shade on your personality. Throughout my study of astrology, I've discovered that there are certain placements that have a bigger impact than others and some placements that just kind of throw a little seasoning in. Some placements are the ingredients, the main meat and potatoes, if that makes sense. For me, in my experience, because I do have my natal Venus in Virgo, this placement has not been a very exaggerated point in my life. At least not at this point, but that could all change with Jupiter in Virgo right now. And actually, as a little side note, Jupiter is conjunct my natal Mars exactly right now because my Mars is at two degrees Virgo. But anyway, Venus in Virgo will be smart. They'll be attracted to intelligence in a similar way as Gemini, Venus and Gemini would be, because they actually share a ruling planet, Mercury. And Mercury is all about facts and information. And Virgo's really all about putting things where they need to be. Putting together a puzzle, you could say. Finding patterns and imp making them more efficient and improving upon already established patterns. When Venus the sign of love is in Virgo. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I love Virgos. I'm dating a Virgo. So I guess I do find the Virgo qualities attractive in a male. I like someone that pays attention to the details. I like someone that's smart. Yes, in, in relationships, we do serve a lot, but again, I don't really feel it that intensely for me. I don't like kiss his feet and wash his feet. I show love in other ways other than just doing the dishes or folding laundry. I do pay attention to the details though in love. And that's key, I think. You know, it, it matters to me if someone is paying attention to the little things, especially when we're in a romantic relationship or even a friendship or even, you know, a platonic relationship with coworkers, yada yada, because again, Virgo the sixth house energy. It's kind of the work energy. In some, I would say Venus and Virgo, it gets a lot of crap that I don't really think is deserved. I think it gets more dramatized than it needs to be, where people will be like, I hate my Venus and Virgo. 
speak for yourself, okay? So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you for Venus in Libra. Ooh, that's going to be a good one.